This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about how to get rid of cockroaches in your electronic devices. So this is a question I get asked a lot with all of my cockroach videos that I have up. I've got several on how to get rid of roaches. And this is a question that continues to be uh, brought up all the time. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And so let's get on with uh, electronics. So it's really common for German cockroaches to want to go inside electric appliances, devices, whatever plugs in the wall. Another reason why those little uh, sonar things that you're supposed to plug into your wall outlets don't work. A lot of times I unplug those things out of the wall and actually find roaches living in them because they plug in. They like the heat they generate and they like, they're actually attracted to uh, electromagnetic pulses. So they like to plug in anything it plugs in the wall. If you plug in a uh, an adapter for a cell phone. A lot of times roaches will go up behind the adapter, especially if it's one that's not removed from the wall. Like you're like, well, this is where I'm gonna plug my phone in in the kitchen, or this is where I plug the phone in beside my bed. And you just leave your, uh, you know, your adapter part, you know, the part you plug your USB in, you leave that plugged into the wall all the time. <clears throat> roaches will actually start living behind those too. They live inside refrigerator motors. They like to get into microwave ovens, toaster ovens. They like to get into internet routers. Uh, they like modems, you know, all these things that, you know, they're always plugged in, always running phones, coffee makers, you know, all these different devices. And so I'm going to go over some ways that you can try to kill the cockroaches in these devices because one thing, if you don't, they can cause a fire. They can cause, uh, if anything, you know, destroy whatever it is that you're, uh, whatever, of, you know, electrical device that, that you want to keep around, you know, they get in there, they they leave their excrement, they poop everywhere inside your stuff, they shed their skins, their casings, because uh, roaches have instars, so they actually will shed their skin as they get larger, and so this is one of the things that you got to think about when you've got these, you know, roaches living inside your refrigerators, inside your, you know, inside your routers, your video game consoles, Xboxes, Playstations, stuff like that. They love to get inside those things, but then they shed their skin, and that skin is just fodder for fire. So you got to think about that, is that, you know, you really do need to get rid of these cockroaches. So let's talk about how to get rid of roaches. So you've identified that you got German cockroaches. They're living inside your stuff. Um, roaches are typically attracted to water. They like to go into kitchens, bathrooms, uh, water heaters, places that are, you know, constant sources of water. They like to get into these areas. Um, they don't typically, you know, they don't typically go in bedrooms. They don't usually go into, uh, you know, living rooms or anywhere like that. And so you don't usually have to worry about them in those rooms except when you have things plugged in. So what I usually recommend people do is what you want to do is you want to get a bait. So there's lots of different baits on the market uh, for German cockroaches. Uh, in my business, I prefer Advion and Vendetta Nitro. Now, Vendetta, one of the reasons I like Vendetta is because it has an IGR, which is called an insect growth regulator built right into the bait. And what that does is it can cause the, the baby roaches, the adult roaches that are born out of the egg, the ones that hatch, it can cause them to have a birth defect that will uh, render them uh, sterile. And so basically it's birth control for cockroaches. It does work. I've used it a lot. They, they work a lot. Uh, I, I actually recommend it all the time. So you get your roach bait. So where do you put it? Well, one of the things I see people do all the time that's absolutely wrong, you don't do this, is they'll take that stuff and it comes in like a syringe, like a plastic syringe with a little metal tip 
on the end. Sometimes it's a plastic tip. It just depends on you know your manufacturer. But people will take that and they'll just smear it all over the wall. They'll just run a bead of that stuff just right down the wall, all over everything. That's not what you want to do. The proper placement, and what I recommend you do, because the bugs are living inside your appliances, is you want to take a about a postcard size piece of paper. Um, I actually recommend a a uh, a post uh, like a like a piece of um, index card. So like an index card. If you take an index card, fold it lengthwise, you know, so it's nice and long and slender. And put a couple of drops of bait, like one little, like about the pea size amount is all you need. You don't need a lot. You don't need to just smear it all over the wall, you know, or all over that piece of paper. We're not making a peanut butter sandwich. We're making bait for cockroaches. So cockroaches, and the reason you want to fold it in half like a taco is because cockroaches prefer to uh, go into a crack. They like their, their legs, their legs, and the top of their body touching the surface all the time. So they're naturally going to want to crawl inside that little piece of cardboard or poster board or you know index card or whatever you decide to use. And that's why I tell you don't use paper because the paper will actually absorb the bait, the oils and stuff like that in the bait, and it won't really work. You want to use something like an index card, something that's more heavy duty and won't uh, absorb the bait. And so you fold that, you put a little bit right in the crack, right in the little crack of it, and you can even use a business card if, if those are handy, if you've got you know something like that. And you fold it over lengthwise and you slide it up underneath your PlayStation or underneath your refrigerator or your coffee machine. All right, now some coffee machines may not work that way because they may have a burner on the bottom and it may get too hot and cause a fire. So don't, you know, make sure your appliances aren't going to catch anything you put up underneath it, especially a piece of paper on fire. But this works really well. You want to make sure that you keep the bait up away from children and pets because you don't want them to be exposed to a pesticide. So, uh, you know, a dog or a cat or something might come along and start chewing on that little piece of paper if they can get a hold of it. That's why you want to put it up underneath your PlayStation, underneath your Xbox, under your internet router, you know, where nothing's really going to get to it except the cockroaches that are living inside that device. Now, the reason this works is because cockroaches aren't going to be able to get food from inside your router. They're not going to be able to get fed. They're going to have to come out to feed, and you've put the food right where the cockroaches live, so they'll come out, they'll crawl along, they'll find it, they'll eat it, and they'll die. You want to refill this bait as needed, uh, sometimes more often, but usually I tell people at least once every two weeks you want to go in and refresh it, throw away the old piece of paper, and put brand new stuff in. Roaches like fresh food just like you like fresh food. So baits are actually, like I said, there's got oils and proteins and stuff like that in them, and they will actually go bad. They will rot. And so you don't want to leave them in there for too long, especially with the heat constantly being blown out of your refrigerator or your Xbox or something like that. It's going to cook the bait, and it's going to make the bait uh, unedible for the cockroaches. So you want to make sure that you replace your bait about once every two weeks, throw the piece of paper away, and put a brand new one down. Um, this will help. This will help kill the roaches in your appliances. But this is not the end-all solution because roaches don't just come for your appliance. They come from the inside of the house. They're actually living in your home or they wouldn't have found the appliances to live in in the first place. So like I said at the beginning of the video, roaches are attracted to bathrooms, kitchens. They like water. So what you want to do is you want to apply a residual pesticide around your cracks and crevices, baseboards, and uh, behind your, like, you know, like you've pulled your refrigerator out to put this little index card underneath it. Um, but take and, and, and treat around the baseboards behind the refrigerator too. Treat the cracks and where the, where the cabinets uh, attach to the wall, uh, underneath any lips of any countertops, places like that. And make sure you treat all around the baseboards throughout the entire house so that no matter where the roaches are coming from, they can't get back in your appliances and they die. You need to eliminate the cockroach infestation in your entire home, not just in the electrical devices that you own. So I've got other videos on the subject of getting rid of cockroaches, how to you know get rid of cockroaches. So be sure to follow me. Be sure to like the channel, thumbs up, hit the notification bell, 
and uh, hopefully this video has been uh, effective in explaining to you how to get rid of cockroaches inside your electric devices. If you need any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I read every one of my comments and I'm live every Thursday night, live stream, and so I can uh, hang out with you and we can go over you know, how to get rid of cockroaches or bed bugs or whatever it is you're having problems with. So hopefully this video has been beneficial. And like I said, have a good day. Appreciate it. And like the channel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Y'all have a good one. And I'll talk to you next time.